All right, we out here on Chick today. We got Matt behind me. We took him to <laughs> some spots, took him to Nicka Jack, caught a ton. Now we on Chick and we trying to catch a giant. It's his last day with me. I'm throwing this sucker most of the day. It's like a six inch swim bait. It's not that big for most people, especially not that big for Chick, but it's big for me. I don't normally throw those kind of baits. I'm a tournament guy, so I always want to figure out how to get the most good quality bites. I never just go try to get two bites a day, so I don't have any eight or 10 inch swim baits. But today, I'm throwing this swim bait. Matt's throwing a small swim bait. We're gonna mix it up, try to catch him a big one, try to catch a ton of fish in the process. Stay tuned, this is gonna be a fun one. I love throwing these things. I love feeling that dunk. See y'all in a minute. sucker ate that big old swim bait. Look at that mouthful he's got. I know that's not actually a big swim bait for most people, but that is still a big swim bait for that fish and for me. That's fun though. That's what we're doing today. I'm throwing that big one. Matt's gonna mix it up. I'm gonna try to catch me a giant today. I need a probably a swim bait that's about four inches bigger than that. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I mean, crunch and munched it right there, dude. That's a good one. I needed him on tournament day. We had these same conditions, and I just didn't make this adjustment. I ordered all this crap for that tournament. Basically, I was waiting on the water to get clear because I knew when it cleared up, the cranking bite was going to die. I was going to have to throw a swim base up to catch them. I didn't make that adjustment in the tournament because the water literally cleared up from the last day of practice to day one, it cleared up a ton. And then from day one to day two, it got even clearer and the current died. So if I'd have picked this stuff up, I probably would have made day three. It's all my fault though. All right, so we off to a faster start than we expected. What do you think, Matt? You think I was gonna catch one on that swim bait that fast? No, I did not. And I called two in like 20 minutes. So we're gonna run that for a little while, try to catch us a big and Hey there, there's one on this. Always fun to catch on something new and I've never thrown anything like this. It didn't start my camera, but look at this little dude. Ain't that big thing. Get out of here. We swinging one in boys. Oh, look at that right there. Ain't big. Crack open a coven for the boys, eh? We getting, we getting lit out here, boys. Sum up today in three words or less. <clears throat> no fish today. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. It was very bad today. Couldn't figure it out. But I want to give a huge shout out to Fish Tails Bait and Tackle in Cleveland, Tennessee. We went in there this morning. They did not have exactly what we were looking for. And the dude said, what are you looking for? We told him. He went to the back, took us with him, and poured exactly what we wanted with, out of his molds, with his lid. He poured us the exact swim bait jig heads we wanted. So, shout out to Fishtails Tackle. They got everything you want in there. Promise you, if you want something they don't have, they'll make it for you. That's the dang truth right there. So, we're done. Didn't catch them today. Threw that big swim bait almost all day. Probably should have adapted a little. But I said I was going to throw it all day, so I threw it all day. Caught me five or so on it could have been better could have been worse see y'all in the next video all right so it's nice out here in tennessee today i'm in shorts slit short sleeve and flip-flops so 
I've been throwing a single swim bait a ton lately. I'm going to throw it even more during the pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn. But the one that I normally throw around the spawn and post-spawn is a belly-weighted one, like a 5-inch belly-weighted one that I um, reel like this far under the surface. I just keep it super shallow. I reel it over any kind of hard cover, anywhere they should be spawning dock posts, you know, the side of docks, floating docks, anything like that. And a lot of times you get the fish to come out. You may not always catch them, but you get to see them a lot, and a lot of them you do catch on the 5-inch. I will throw like a 6 or 7-inch um, line through real shallow a lot too, and you get them to follow that a ton. You don't really get that many bites on it. But the one I've been throwing recently, I'm going to show you all the setup I'm using for that. Basically, it's this one. This is a seven foot six, heavy, fast, Micro Magic Pro. Um, I've been throwing it on a 8.2 to one gear ratio, Shimano Corrado 70, and you have to make yourself fish it super, super slow. This is a 5.8 inch Kitek. That jig head is from, Ki is from uh, Fishtails. It's just one of theirs that they pour in there. But like I said earlier in the video, go check them out. They pour all kind of stuff. If they don't have what you want, they will pour it for you. And it's a 5.8 inch Kitek. This is Tennessee Shad color. And this tail, you can really feel it kicking in the water whenever you're reeling it super slow. So the idea for this is, at least in my opinion, I try to reel this thing about two feet off the bottom at all times, depending on the, the water clarity. If it's like super clear, I'll actually reel it on like four feet off the bottom. I feel like if they're sitting on the bottom, they can see it. If they're suspended, they can see it. So it's like the best of both worlds. But um, you just want to creep it as slow as possible, and you can feel that leg, that foot kicking through there. Just don't, don't, don't. You can actually feel it with your reel handle whenever you're turning it. But this is 20 pound. K9. I actually think you should, K9, 100% fluorocarbon. I actually think you could go down to 18 and probably get a little bit more action out of it. I don't know how much difference it's going to make. I know if you go down to like 15, you'll get a ton of action, but it's just too heavy to throw on 15 pound line, you know, to like actually cast. So I think ideally you'd want to use 18 pound K9. That's like the uh, best fluorocarbon for this application. Like I said, 5.8 inch. And whenever they hit it, you you can pretty much jack them with this hook and this jig head like i try not to because i'm using a huge rod and i'm you know using fluorocarbon so i try not to just like reel all the slack out and just jack them i try to keep reeling and then pull real hard but sometimes when you feel that thump because man they knock the heck out of it you just can't help but jack them but like i said i use an 8.2 to 1 gear ratio and the main reason i want to do that i was throwing this on a uh 5.5 to 1 early and then a lot of times they hit it so hard coming at you that you have so much slack in your line that you cannot catch up with a 5.5 to 1. So I said, I got to go to a bigger, to an 8 to 1 and just make myself real slow. So like, what you want to do is no matter what reel it is, you want to be able to feel that dang tail kicking, feel it thumping, and just visualize the good bow in your line. Because whenever I'm fishing it, there'll be a bow in my line going to the bait. And I'm just watching it, letting that bait kind of, letting that line kind of pull that bait. And then, you know, you're not really wanting to force that action too much because then you don't get the good head rocket of it. When this thing is swimming, the tail's going to be kicking, but another thing, the head's going to be moving back and forth at the same time. The head's going to be rocking like this and moving. That's what you got to have. So if you reel it too fast or using too big a line, you know, that will make that not happen. So that's my setup for single swim baits. When I'm, when I'm throwing the smaller one, y'all see me throw that 3.8 inch a lot. I throw it on a 7 foot cranking rod with 10 pound, 100% fluorocarbon from K9. And I throw it on an 8 ounce jig head, almost just like this one. But I, the line tie is actually in the front of the head more. I think it matters more with that smaller hook. So, uh... That's on a 3 alt hook. If you throw that 3.8 inch on a 4 or 5 alt hook, it'll kill the action. So you really need a 3 alt hook is like the perfect size for that one. Like this one right here, you can hold a 5 alt because it doesn't go too far down in the bait. If the hook was coming way back down in here, you know, it's not going to get as good of a kick out of the tail. You want it to be more free. So that's it, guys. Throw these things. Y'all will see very, very soon in the next week or so. My belly weighted one. We're going to catch some big ones on it. It's real fun watching me eat that thing. So stay tuned. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Hit that sub button. Appreciate y'all. See you. I'm on my own, broken and alone I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware